Welcome back to Scoreboard Unlocked. I'm Connor Parrish. And I'm Ethan Griffin. Today we'll talk about recent games from all of spring sports. Your Grizzlies have been on fire this week, so let's get right into it. You guys should know by now that we always have a special guest. Let's see who it is this week. Found it. Noggin. See ya. What's up, Grizzlies? I'm Chase Bentley, a sophomore on the varsity baseball team. Yeah, thanks, Chase, for being here with us. We're really excited to have you. Of course. Commitment spotlight. Tell us where you're going, man. I'm going to Texas A&M. Yeah, congratulations. Big SEC school. What, uh... What, what brought you there? What intrigued you to go there? Yeah, I mean, since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to play in the SEC. In my opinion, it's the best conference to play in, especially for baseball. And I saw a lot of schools this summer and just decided that Texas A&M was home. So I'm 100% in. Okay, yeah, like the Texas area, excited to see some football? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. The football games, they got, I think in one of their homes, they got 110,000 people. So it's a Woo! crazy environment. That's a big stadium, big SEC stadium right there. Big environment. Uh, tell us about USA Baseball. Yeah, this summer um, I made Team USA with um, 20 of the best people in the country. It was really fun getting to know some more people. Um, and then we went to Mexico and won a world championship. So that was a great experience. That's really cool. That's really cool. I don't know um, actually anyone else who's done that. So <laughs> it was that's, pretty cool. that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, and uh, started off league play this week against Whitney after going uh, three and three in non-league. Uh, how's the season going so far? Yeah, I mean, um, this, this preseason, we played a lot of tough teams, so it was kind of hard, you know, finding our groove. But I think now we're starting to hit the ball pretty well. We got a lot of good pitchers, so hopefully we make a strong start in the league. Yeah, I saw you guys just played De La Salle. Like, that was super tough. Mm -hmm. De La Salle is always good at yeah. everything, which is a little annoying. Yeah. But I, I'm excited for this season. I'm excited to watch some, watch some baseball. Yeah, should be fun. What are, some, what are some goals you guys have a team? as a team for this season. Yeah, last year we were one game short of winning league, so hopefully we can we can get that one this year and then, you know, coming off a section championship last year, hopefully we can repeat that. All right, there you go. Yeah, and our next uh, away game is tonight at Whitney at four o'clock. Make sure to make sure to show up for our baseball boys. Yeah. yeah, that'd be great. We need everyone, as many people to be there as you can and uh let's let's chirp Whitney a little. Mm -hmm. Sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, run our mouths a little bit. All right, yeah, thank you very much for uh, coming on, and yeah, good luck in your game tonight. Of course, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks, Chase. How's it going, guys? It's Ethan. I'm going to be breaking down some softball for you. On the 20th, we played versus Oak Ridge at 415, and we won 4-1. Yeah! And then, unfortunately, we lost against Whitney on the 23rd. But we kicked right back with a good win versus Folsom. Yeah. Eight to one. Yeah, and our next game is versus Oakmont at 11 o'clock on the 31st. Yeah. Yep, that's tonight. Yep, yep. And then our stunt, we unfortunately lost on the 24th to a really good Whitney team, but our next game is tonight at Del Oro. At, starts at 4.30. Uh, yeah, girls lacrosse uh, versus Folsom at 7 o'clock. Uh, we did win 13-3. to Wow. Nailed them. Folsom's always fun to beat. Love yeah. beating Folsom. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, versus Whitney at 7 o'clock, we won 17-2. to Yep, girls were on a roll and came against a really tough Oak Ridge team, which unfortunately came to a loss. But Oak Ridge is no one to be sad yeah. about losing yeah. to. That's yeah. a good team. And our next game for our girls is at Novato at 12 o'clock. Should and be a good test for our girls lacrosse team. Yeah, it's on uh, April 1st, so make sure to show out. Yeah. Correct. With our boys lacrosse recaps, we start at Folsom. We beat them 16 to four. I made a video!
and uh, Whitney at seven o'clock. We won eight to six. It was really, really hard fought game, and we did a good job. We we started losing at the end, but we we pulled it together. Yeah, that, that was a little too close for comfort, but we did beat Jesuit thirteen to eight, which is awesome. Uh, thanks for thanks for that video, by the way, Ethan. That yeah. Was, the, so in the beginning, that was, that was actually me slipping, guys. So I'm not just throwing shade at Rockland players. So yep. yeah. Our next game is tomorrow versus Marin Academy at home at one o'clock, yeah. and then our track. Tonight, we have a field festival at home all day, which there's no running going to be happening, but the field events will be going on all day. It starts at about 10.30, I believe. And yeah, for boys volleyball versus Oak Ridge, uh, we won three to two. Great job, boys. And then uh, Rockland, we ended up losing one to three. That was a tough loss, but we'll, we'll get them next time. Yeah, yeah. And our next game is after spring break, Tuesday, March, or May, April 4th versus Del Oro at seven o'clock. Yeah, and then boys golf um, on Wednesday, we won 205 to 183. Yes, and wow. with golf, if you guys are unfamiliar, the score is lowest score wins, so we did do pretty well in that game. Yeah. And then boys tennis is on fire with an undefeated record of 5-0-1 oh, altogether and 3-0 and oh in league. Uh, yeah, in Folsom, we beat them 8-1, to one. Whitney 5-4, uh, to four. and our next match is on April 11th at Oak Ridge. That's correct. Make sure to come out and support your fellow Grizzlies. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's all we have for you guys today. Yeah. Yep. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any news in the world of Granite Bay Athletics. If you are a varsity athlete or would like to be on Scoreboard or Scoreboard Unlocked, uh, go fill out the Google request form at the link below. Absolutely. And also make sure to follow our media Instagram account at Granite Bay TV. That's all we have for you, Grizzlies. Uh, I'll see you next time on Scoreboard Unlocked.